Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. So, you know, I want to talk to you about something a little different today. Um, I want to talk to you about why there is such a need for so much hatred out there just in general. Now, I was watching, while I was running the other day, I was watching the show called The Four. I like to watch, you know, competitive things with dance and music at times just to get away from what I normally watch because I really, my TV never changes off of ESPN, I watch a few shows. I watch a few cooking shows like Master Chef, etc. And then I like to watch some of these competitive shows, America's Got Talent, and the singing and dancing shows. I mean, some of them. I don't like them all. I, I just love to see talent. I like to see all kinds of people, you know, that have talent and succeed. Um, and, you know, this, I, I'm well aware of how all this works because I deal with it all the time, you know, just having any sort of personality on YouTube. But I was watching a girl that was performing and they showed her and, I don't know her backstory very well. I'm not really into that. She had done a video or something that had gone viral several years ago called Friday. I, I don't know anything about it. I never looked it up, so I'm not trying to discuss things I don't know about. But then they were talking about how she had all of the social media hatred for doing something. Um, people giving her death threats, telling her this and that. And after the video it apparently became very popular. I also saw this happen on America's Got Talent last season where a girl had posted a video um, singing and she had gotten a, a ton, like a, I think hundreds of thousands up to millions of hits. People making fun of her weight, calling her names. I mean, she was a teenage girl. She's a teenage girl. So what I'm saying is, is why? Like what possesses somebody when somebody's trying to do something, you know, for themselves? It, it, listen, if you don't agree with it, that's cool. I, I, you know, I never had a problem with somebody like that disagrees with me, for example. I, that's cool. That you, Everybody's entitled to that opinion. Everybody is entitled to speak their mind. But I don't think that people should be entitled to just go on and start ragging on people and cutting on people and really hurting them for no reason. I mean, why? What kind of person sits and hides behind a keyboard, first of all, and starts, you know, what gives you the right to start throwing stones at people and cutting people? You know, if somebody does something really bad or wrong, that's a different story. Okay, I get it. Even then, I, you know, I, I don't like the, the, unless somebody like kills somebody, rapes somebody, you know, certain things that they're like really high extent. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Not arguing there. But when somebody's just trying to do something, something different or something to help themselves or improve themselves or speak out on something or make a name or voice, whatever. Why is there a need to be so brutal to say these terrible, hateful and hurtful things? Like why? What, what gives you the right to do that? And what kind of example does that set? Let's say you have kids. Let's say you, your mom or dad sees you writing that. Like why? Don't you think that these people that you're saying it to, it hurts them? Like, what is the motivation there? Why do people do things like that? I get things like that sent to me, and luckily for me, I have really thick skin. And me and my wife will generally sit back and just laugh at how pathetic somebody is for having this amount of time in their hands. But what about the teenage girls or teenage boys or the younger people or the people that are overly sensitive, the people that have different issues, and you go say these to, things to them and really, really hurt them and have a really strong negative effect on their lives? Why? Does that make you feel good? Does that really, really do something for you? And if it is, you're sick. You're sick. Like, I don't get it. I don't get where all of that comes from. And what makes people feel like they have the right to do that? Or why would you even want to do that? Like, why? I've had terrible things said to me. Terrible, hurtful, mean things. Like I said, I can shake it off. Sometimes does it get to me? Maybe for a few minutes, but I don't really care. I mean, ultimately, I care about the people that are close to me and what they think. My peers, um, you know, I want to make good impressions on them. But people that just write hateful things. But some people aren't that way and they're not wired that way and it really hurts them. And it's some people that can, I mean, you could make somebody go kill themselves or do things to themselves or quit what they're doing for saying these things. I mean, does that not make anybody feel bad? Like, why? Why? It's it's really pathetic and sad. It's especially pathetic and sad when you, like, stalk people, follow them around, leave these comments over and over again and do these things. I mean, it's really psychotic. I mean, it's like you need to seek therapy type of thing. And I don't get it. I just wish that people would be more kind 
to other people. I, and when I see people crying and hurt and things like that, it makes me sick to my stomach. I just like to see these people succeed that are trying and that are talented or at least trying. How could you brag on somebody for just trying? It's a lot more than you're probably doing. So what I'm saying is if you're one of these people, at least think about it. And chances are, and I've always believed this, that you can't reason with the unreasonable. And if you're doing that type of thing, it's probably not even worth it. But I'm at least going to try to at least say, hey, come on, you know, you wouldn't maybe not like that if somebody did it to you. And maybe you don't care, but... You know, I, I can't imagine living my life that way and doing that to people. I could never imagine that. I, obviously, I wouldn't have the time either uh, or, or the desire. I mean, why aren't you spending time with your family or your kids or doing something productive or trying to make some money or better yourself? I mean, you really have that kind of time? I mean, and if you've got that kind of hate in your heart, good Lord, good Lord. Maybe mom didn't kiss you when you were a kid. I don't know, but wow. Anyway, I just hope that people that are watching this if you are getting abused like that, that you can try to shake it off and turn the other cheek. But if not, I hope the people that are doing this stop because it's wrong. So that being said, www.elitefitness.com backslash videos is where you can see all of my new and old videos uncut and uncensored. www.icearms.com backslash forums and Dylan at is where you can get me with all questions and comments. So that being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.